In the ongoing discourse of world football's finest, the names Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi perpetually spark debate. Yet, for certain individuals like Kylian Mbappe, engaging in such discussions holds little appeal. Deep within, Mbappe's allegiance unmistakably tilts towards Ronaldo. Among the plethora of revered players, it's Ronaldo who holds a singular place in Mbappe's journey of development. To Mbappe, CR7 embodies not just a role model but a deity of the sport. His abstention from alcohol and other detrimental indulgences mirrors the footsteps of his idol. For Mbappe, having a constant source of inspiration like Ronaldo is pivotal for his footballing odyssey. Precisely six months post the French national team's triumph as world champions on their home turf, the cries of Kylian Mbappe locked in echoed through the corridors of a hospital in Bondi. A locality nestled 10.9 kilometers from central Paris. Born to Wilfred Mbappe and Faiz Mbappe, Kylian's roots trace back to Cameroon and Algeria. As if destined for the pitch, Mbappe's affinity with the ball commenced in the womb. His father, an academy coach at a Bondi amateur club, and his mother, a former handball athlete, ensured that the sphere would be an integral part of his life. My son Kylian's order for football is unparalleled. He's engrossed in the game all day, and watching four to five matches weekly is routine, expressed Mbappe's father. Growing up in the Parisian suburbs, football consumed Mbappe's passions. School, family, even friends paled in comparison. After each school day, his father diligently honed Mbappe's fundamentals, shaping him for professional athleticism. The Cameroonian patriarch aspired for Mbappe to transcend the confines of amateurism, aiming for the pinnacle of the sport. However, Kylian Mbappe isn't the sole offspring. He shares siblinghood with two brothers, Jaius Kembo Ekoko and Ethan Mbappe. Ekoko, a decade senior, was adopted by their father, while Ethan, seven years his junior, is groomed to tread the same path to footballing stardom. Embarking on his junior journey with hometown club AS Bondi, the 25-year-old was seamlessly integrated into the fold, courtesy of his father's role as an academy coach. Born into the embrace of a footballing dynasty, Mbappe's upbringing bore the indelible mark of his father's influence, affording him privileged access to football education from as tender an age as six. From the onset, Kylian Mbappe's trajectory evoked envy among his peers, not merely for his affiliation with AS Bondi's esteemed academy, but for the plethora of accolades he amassed, dwarfing his diminutive stature. Even in his formative years, Mbappe exuded a magnetism that earmarked him as the harbinger of French football's future. Elevating his prowess at Bondi, Mbappé's ascent culminated in a coveted invitation to Clairefontaine, the cradle of France's footballing prodigies. Swiftly embracing the opportunity, Mbappé's parents endorsed the transition, buoyed by his unwavering dedication. Guided by the astute mentorship of academy coach Jean-Claude Lafargue, Mbappé's latent talents flourished, prompting meticulous analysis and positioning that eventually unveiled his true potential. Actly adept at orchestrating scoring opportunities and exhibiting a preternatural instinct off the ball, Mbappe's versatility caught Lofog's discerning eye, positioning him across various attacking fronts, notwithstanding his diminutive physique. Drawing comparisons to luminaries Neymar and Thierry Henry, Lofog's assessment underscored Mbappe's amalgamation of individual brilliance and predatory prowess, albeit with a caveat to harness his talents on the wing due to his slight stature. News of Mbappe's meteoric rise reverberated globally prompting overtures from Europe's premier clubs. Among them, Chelsea emerged as front-runners, offering a trial that could potentially seal his fate. Yet, negotiations hit a snag when Mbappe's mother, cognizant of her son's burgeoning potential, insisted on a professional contract, jesting about the escalating valuation that would ensue if Chelsea dallied, an audacious quip from a prodigious talent barely in his preteen years. Chelsea, Hesitant to fully embrace Mbappe's potential, rebuffed his advances, citing concerns over his single-minded focus on scoring without a penchant for defensive duties, a nuanced predicament notwithstanding his exceptional individual skills. Undeterred by Chelsea's dismissal, Mbappe's mother, wearing the dual hats of parent and agent, diligently sought out clubs earnestly desiring her son's talent. Given his tender age, French clubs held precedence, with AS Monaco emerging as the pragmatic choice for Mbappe. In 2013, Mbappe found his niche in AS Monaco's youth ranks. Despite an enticing invitation from Zinedine Zidane to join Real Madrid's U-17 setup, parental deliberation favoured Monaco, given its proximity to Paris. 
A fleeting encounter with Cristiano Ronaldo during a Real Madrid training stint left an indelible mark on Mbappe. Inspired by the Portuguese maestro's aura, Mbappe grappled with the weight of French football's future resting on his shoulders, yet resolved to carve his own path. For Mbappe, football transcended mere recreation, it epitomized life itself. Eschewing conventional pursuits, he committed to the relentless pursuit of excellence, sacrificing his youth in the relentless pursuit of mastery. Fueled by an unwavering resolve, Mbappe's trajectory was already charted, even before his 17th birthday. His resolute determination mirrored the path carved by his idol, Cristiano Ronaldo, whose greatness served as a guiding light on Mbappe's journey. Ronaldo's influence permeated Mbappe's essence like a cherished memory, evolving from mere admiration to profound reverence. The adornment of his bedroom walls with Ronaldo's images at the tender age of 14 bore testimony to Mbappe's unwavering devotion to his footballing hero. Night after night, Mbappe finds solace in the gaze of posters adorning his walls, each portraying the illustrious five-time Ballon d'Or victor. Amidst reveries, a singular conviction crystallizes, the aspiration to emulate Ronaldo's greatness one day. While many adolescents idolize Ronaldo, merely meeting him epitomizes life's ultimate goal. Yet, armed with innate talent, an unyielding work ethic, and a resolute career trajectory, Mbappe harbors aspirations beyond mere encounters. Transforming his idol into a rival embodies a challenge far surpassing comparisons to childhood icons. The desire to don the revered Real Madrid jersey fuels his ambitions. Choosing AS Monaco proved astute, aligning with Mbappe's trajectory towards his Real Madrid dream. Monaco, renowned as a bastion for nurturing young talent, offered a gateway to League One for academy prospects, a perfect fit for Mbappe's aspirations. However, Monaco exercised caution, nurturing Mbappe's skills and team play before granting him opportunities. Since his arrival in 2013, it took years to capture the attention of then-coach Leonardo Chardin. The 2015-16 season marked a pivotal juncture for Mbappe's ascent. Under Chardin's stewardship, Mbappe flourished, earning a place in Monaco's senior squad at a tender age. A feat that eclipsed Thierry Henry's record, evoking admiration even from the French legend himself. Reflecting on Mbappe's meteoric rise, Henry lauded the youngster's potential to effect change through football, underscoring his quiet demeanor and latent talent. Mbappe's elevation to the first team coincided with Anthony Marshall's departure to Manchester United in 2015, a shift that catalyzed Mbappe's ascent, positioning him as Marshall's successor in Jardim's strategic calculus. Following 14 appearances for AS Monaco in the 2015-16 season, Kylian Mbappe notched up a goal and assist, earning him a coveted spot in France's U-19 European Cup squad. While his debut season with AS Monaco saw limited opportunities, it laid the foundation for his emergence as a key figure in the 2016-17 campaign. Leonardo Chardin's faith in Mbappe grew steadily, though he wasn't always a starter. Mbappe's impact was palpable whenever he took to the field, consistently delivering stellar performances often resulting in crucial goals and assists. In a mere 13-minute cameo against Nancy, he conjured up a goal and assist, showcasing his efficiency. At just 18, Mbappe captivated the Monaco faithful with 15 goals and 11 assists in 29 appearances, propelling AS Monaco to dethrone Paris Saint-Germain's dominance in the 2016-17 French league season. Surrounded by stalwarts like Bernardo Silva, Joao Martinho, Fabinho, and Thomas Lemar, Mbappe benefited from the mentorship of season campaigner Radomel Falcao. Under Falcao's tutelage, Mbappe honed his skills and learned invaluable lessons in facing seasoned defenders and maintaining composure in heated encounters. His success transcended domestic accolades, as Mbappe shone in the Champions League, guiding Monaco to the semi-finals with six goals in nine appearances, including a brace against Manchester City, catapulting him into the global spotlight. Mbappe's meteoric rise sparked a frenzy in the 2017 summer transfer market, with elite clubs such as Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea, PSG, Barcelona, and his cherished dream club, Real Madrid, vying for his signature. Amidst the clamour surrounding his prodigious talent, Mbappe's emergence signalled an imminent shift in the footballing landscape, hinting at the closure of the era dominated by Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Mbappe's excitement surged when his agent, none other than his mother, relayed the news of Real Madrid's interest. The club with the most coveted Champions League titles in Europe was poised to thrust Mbappe into the realm of the world's priciest players. 
Eagerly, Mbappe implored his mother to prioritize negotiations with Madrid. Yet, Faiser, astute in her judgment, didn't hastily acquiesce. Recognizing the weight of her son's future, she permitted other clubs, including Paris Saint-Germain, to enter the fray. As Madrid and PSG dispatched emissaries to AS Monaco, other contenders like Barcelona and Manchester United signaled their intent. Money, it seemed, dictated the course of negotiations, with the likes of PSG and Madrid holding sway. Setting a staggering price tag of 180 million euros, Faiser aimed to safeguard her son's worth while acknowledging his potential for exponential growth. However, Madrid's resolve faltered at the exorbitant sum. President Florentino Perez, wary of rash investments, likened Mbappé to Zinedine Zidane, advocating prudence in nurturing young talents. While Madrid hesitated, PSG grew emboldened. Eager to bolster their ranks and stymie Monaco's ascent, PSG foresaw Mbappé's untapped potential, believing he had yet to unveil his full repertoire. At Monaco, Mbappé had merely scratched the surface, hinting at greater heights awaiting his ascension. In response to the staggering transfer fee, PSG embarked on a strategic maneuver, spurred by their recent acquisition of Neymar for a record-breaking €222 million Euros from Barcelona, a move that plunged the club into a whirlwind of financial deliberation. Despite the backing of the Qatari government, PSG acknowledged the peril of flouting UEFA's financial fair play regulations by outrightly paying Monaco €180 million Euros in cash. Instead, they devised a clever workaround, transforming the purchase deal into a season-long loan with an obligatory buyout clause. Mbappe, receptive to PSG's proposition, cited the club's aligned vision and mission as a pivotal factor. With assurances of a prominent role, annual silverware, and a compelling promise of European glory within the next seasons, PSG's seductive offer sealed the deal. Thus, Mbappe commenced the 2017-18 season as a linchpin in Unai Emery's lineup, delivering a stellar performance with 21 goals and 16 assists across all competitions for PSG, dispelling any notion of being a mere flash in the pan. His remarkable form catapulted him into the fold of the French national team for the 2018 World Cup, a momentous occasion celebrated by Mbappe and his family as his name echoed from Didier Deschamps' lips during the squad announcement broadcast. Clad in the iconic number 10 jersey once donned by Zinedine Zidane, Mbappe left an indelible mark on the tournament, notching four goals, including a memorable performance against Argentina and a crucial strike in the final against Croatia, propelling Les Blue to their second World Cup triumph. Amidst the global spotlight, Mbappe's meteoric rise underscored his prodigious talent, achieving feats at a tender age that eluded even his esteemed idol. Despite PSG's continued dominance in domestic competitions, Mbappe's longing for a stint at Real Madrid and a Champions League triumph remained unfulfilled. Season after season, PSG faltered in the UCL despite managerial changes and squad overhauls, failing to grasp the coveted trophy. The pledges made by PSG to Mbappe weighed heavily on the Frenchman's conscience, transforming him from a mere player to an assertive voice demanding the club hasten the realisation of his aspirations. Mbappe's interventions extended beyond the pitch, influencing player acquisitions, coaching decisions, and squad strategies. Comfortable on the wing, Mbappe pressed PSG to recruit players with a proven track record in the Champions League and potent strikers to bolster the team's performance in both domestic and European competitions. The arrivals of Mauro Icardi, Randall Colomwani, Goncalo Ramos, Jorginho Wijnaldum, Sergio Ramos, and Kayla Nuthers were purportedly aimed at fulfilling these ambitions. However, Mbappe's lofty ambitions occasionally veered into the realm of excess, reflecting in his on-field demeanor. Prone to mood swings akin to a tempestuous temperament, he oscillated between cohesive teamwork and bouts of selfishness if not catered to. This aspect of his character was glaringly evident in a match against Montpellier at the onset of the 2022-23 season. During a counter-attack, Mbappe's dissatisfaction was palpable when Vitinha chose to feed Lionel Messi instead of him, despite his positioning in the left flank. The situation escalated further when Mbappe openly advocated for the recruitment of Luis Campos, with whom he shared a close bond during their time at AS Monaco. With Campos as a transfer advisor, Mbappe wielded greater influence in shaping PSG's squad, dictating player acquisitions and departures. Reports surfaced of Mbappe's plea for PSG to offload Neymar, citing their strained relationship and lack of camaraderie. 
Despite their star status, Mbappe and Neymar seldom interacted off the pitch, exacerbating tensions. However, PSG balked at the notion, recognizing Neymar's enduring allure to the club. Despite PSG's concerted efforts, Mbappe's quest for Champions League glory remained elusive. Despite a valiant effort culminating in a final appearance in the 2019-20 season, Bayern Munich dashed their hopes amid the COVID-19 pandemic, leaving Mbappe seething with frustration and a burning desire to join Real Madrid. As the 2021-22 season approached, Mbappe hinted at his reluctance to extend his contract with PSG, signalling his intention to become a free agent in the summer of 2022. Many speculated this would mark the culmination of Real Madrid's pursuit. However, PSG, under the astute leadership of Nasser El Khalafi, rebuffed Madrid's audacious bid of €220 million, Euros, signalling their unwavering resolve to retain Mbappe's services. In a series of discussions involving Nasser, Mbappe, and Faser, a groundbreaking contract offer was crafted, unprecedented in its terms and exclusivity. With the ink barely dry, Mbappe committed to PSG until 2024, with a provision for a one-year extension in a deal worth a staggering €50 million Euros annually, a testament to PSG's unwavering commitment to retain their prized asset. As the summer transfer window loomed, PSG fans breathed a collective sigh of relief as NASA confirmed Mbappe's contract extension, signalling a new chapter in the club's history with their talismanic forward firmly in the fold. According to reports by Football Tweet, Mbappe purportedly received an astounding €300 million Euros as a signing bonus, coupled with the authority to influence PSG's recruitment strategy, a privilege beyond Real Madrid's capacity. While PSG fans rejoiced, Madrid faithful were left reeling, blindsided by Mbappe's apparent willingness to forsake his childhood dream for material gain. Mbappe's exclusive contract presented a double-edged sword. On one hand, he was deemed a mercenary, profiting from PSG's largesse, albeit against his true wishes. However, a closer examination revealed a loophole, Mbappe had cleverly negotiated a clause facilitating a swift transfer to Real Madrid. Reports from Lekip suggested that Mbappe's ties to PSG until 2025 were tenuous at best, with the club lacking authority over the optional one-year extension, a decision solely within Mbappe's purview. Though obligated to PSG for two more years, Mbappe's heart lay elsewhere, fixated on his imminent move to Madrid, rumoured to have been agreed upon clandestinely with club president Perez since the 2023-24 season's inception. While no official confirmation of Mbappe's Madrid move surfaced, BBC Sport journalist Gillem Balague hinted at a pre-arranged deal, featuring a €150 million Euro signing bonus, a reduced salary of €15 million Euros annually, and a five-year contract, a stark contrast to his PSG earnings. Despite the salary cut, this pact epitomised Mbappe's unwavering commitment to realising his Madrid dream, with the deal purportedly set to materialise on July 1, 2024.